Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome to Health Talk, the live broadcast of Health Talk. Uh, coming to you live from the Garden State of New Jersey. My name is James, your host. I am also the host and narrator of Censored Returns, which is another internet talk show that we do based on past newsletters, censored newsletters uh, that was written and founded, of course, by the one and only the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Uh, I want to start the show by reading some uh, health-oriented newspaper articles from the past week that are from a local northeastern New Jersey well-established newspaper, The Bergen Record. Okay. The first article that I'm going to read before we go on to um, um, our health talk topics for the week. Uh, this one here is um, titled, 6,000 Hogs Set to Be Put Down May Have Eaten Tainted Pet Food. Here we go again, listeners, with the tainted pet food. I did these articles uh, in the past um, uh, recent health, health talks. There have been many articles since the many deaths that occurred due to the, um, the wheat gluten from China. Okay, 6,000 hogs set to be put down may have eaten tainted pet food by Rick Weiss, Washington Post News Service, Washington. And this came from the Bergen Record, uh, April 27, 2007, Washington. Federal and state authorities have identified 6,000 hogs in at least seven states that may have consumed contaminated pet food or pet food byproducts. And all the animals are slated to be euthanized to ensure they do not enter the human food supply. The Food and Drug Administration said Thursday. Officials said they are also looking into the possibility that some chickens may have eaten chow contaminated by the pet food, which they believe was tainted with chemicals imported from China. Uh, the disclosures are the latest in a string of recent surprises that have uh, brought home uh, to many Americans how complex and interconnected are the supply chains uh, linking imported pet food ingredients farm animal chow, and food for human consumption. Officials stressed that the human health risks of eating pork from animals fed the contaminated food were extremely low. The decision to keep those animals off the market and to reimburse farmers for the losses was made in the interest of extreme prudence, they said. FDA and Agriculture Department experts also revealed preliminary findings that may explain how low doses of the prime contaminant, the industrial chemical uh, melamine, considered only mild, mildly toxic, may have caused the deaths of some pets. A second contaminant found in the pet food, uh, cyanur cyanuric acid, when combined with melamine, appears to prompt the formation of crystals in urine. They said those crystals can cause kidney failure. It is unclear how the two chemicals found their way into pet food, but many experts suspect they were added uh, intentionally so that test results of the protein content of the food would be falsely elevated. Okay, and the uh, last article for this week's health talk. Um, let's see. Tainted pet food. Here's another one. Tainted pet food was fed to hogs, U.S. officials say. Okay, here's another article about that. It's not known whether meat entered human supply by Andrew Bridges, the Associated Press, Washington. 
salvaged uh, pet food contaminated with an industrial chemical was fed to hogs in as many as six states, federal health officials said Tuesday. It was not immediately clear if any of the hogs then entered the food supply for humans. Food safety officials said hogs at farms uh, in California, New York, North Carolina, South Carolina, Utah, and possibly Ohio ate the contaminated products. Hogs at some of the farms, uh, it wasn't immediately clear which, uh, have been quarantined. The urine of some has tested positive for the chemical melamine and food and drug administration, the Food and Drug Administration said, uh, quote, at this point, I don't have a, a definitive answer other than to say that the issue is being addressed, unquote. Uh, Stephen Sunloff, the FDA's chief veterinarian, told reporters when asked if any of the hogs had entered uh, the human food supply. A poultry farm also may be involved, he added. Wonderful. (laughs) Uh, The FDA also said it planned to begin testing a wide variety of vegetable proteins at firms that imported the ingredients to make everything from pizza dough to infant formula. The protein shakes to um, energy bars. And protein shakes to energy bars. Uh, The ingredient uh, list includes wheat gluten, corn gluten, cornmeal, soy protein, and rice bran. Uh, Pet food companies have recalled more than 100 brands of cat and dog food since the first reports of animal deaths a little over a month ago. Investigators have found melamine in at least two imported Chinese vegetable proteins used to make pet foods. The chemical uh, possibly was used to skew analysis that measured the protein content of the ingredients, wheat gluten and rice protein concentrate. Uh, There were no direct uh, shipments of either of the two ingredients to firms that make food for humans or for animals used as food, said uh, Michael Rogers, who directs field investigations for the FDA. A second related chemical called cyanuric acid uh, also has been found to uh, contaminate rice protein concentrate samples. Sunloft said the analysis of the analysis the FDA plans to begin later this week will look at producers of both food for humans and animal feed, said Dr. David uh, Akison, the chief medical officer within the agency's Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition. Uh, Akison stressed that uh, there was no evidence any of the other vegetable proteins had been contaminated, but that the FDA wanted to, quote, get ahead of the curve, unquote, and raise awareness among manufacturers. FDA officials said the hogs were fed salvaged pet food made with tainted rice protein concentrate. The food was given to the animals prior to the products. Recalls, Roger said. Rogers said. Okay. Um, well, <clears throat> it doesn't surprise me. American companies can't, you know, buy all their food ingredients from a high quality, reliable source and get the very best quality ingredients that money can buy like certified organic uh, uh, ingredients, uh, wheat gluten, so on and so on, grains, uh, soy protein. No, they have to get it from the cheapest source. Regardless of what quality these food products um, are composed of. It's all about the bottom line, corporate America, isn't it? It's all about the bottom line at the expense of of human life and, in this case, animal life. 
So get your ingredients from China. And China probably can care less about the nature of what it imports to the beloved United States of America. So that's what happens. The bottom liners, the conservative corporate American bottom liners. <clears throat> All right, the next article before we start doing the uh, some best of health talks um, is, uh, well, I thought this was an applicable article for this time of year. It's now spring. It's... Um, it's very, um, you know, the, the, the merry month of May. May flowers is coming up very soon. And this is uh, the allergy season, of course. Uh, right now we have the, the uh, tree pollen at its peak. And then that will be followed by the grass pollen. And that's what gets me, the grass pollen. Um, for seasonal relief and antioxidant protection, quercetin is key. Quercetin is one of a class of compounds called flavonoids, which are plant-based substances that exhibit anti-inflammatory uh, and antioxidant properties. Quercetin is one of the most active uh, flavonoids that have been studied, and many of the beneficial properties of some foods may be derived from this compound. Common foods rich in quercetin include apples, especially the peel, green tea, onions, red wine, grapes, and citrus fruit. Other less commonly consumed foods include a variety of berries, including uh, lignin berry and cranberry. This multifaceted compound exhibits a variety of anti-inflammatory effects including um, inhibiting histamine release. Uh, histamine is responsible for many allergies, uh, allergy symptoms. Um, inhibiting release of, anti of inflammatory mediators by mast cells, white blood cells that are active in the inflammatory process, mast cells. Okay, inhibiting release of that. Um, and by acting as a vitamin C sparing antioxidant. For many years, quercetin has been used as a supplement to combat allergies. Quercetin is a key component of many allergy formulas, many natural allergy formulas uh, that are on the market. Um, uh, quercetin's uh, anti-inflammatory effects may also be used useful to promote healthy lung function, along with the allergy concerns. Quercetin has also been thought to have benefits against abnormal cells. In a study of quercetin combined with ultrasound, abnormal cells uh, from skin and prostate showed 90% mortality, while normal cells were not affected. It's also been shown in test tube studies to exhibit anti-estrogen effects and may be active against abnormal breast cells. Quercetin also appears uh, to promote a uh, healthy bladder function. Some people have pressure and pain in the bladder area with urinary urgency and frequency. In the absence of a urinary tract infection, this a uh, common problem afflicts many Americans, especially women. As reported in an article from the Tufts University School of Medicine, uh, recent evidence uh, from a pilot study suggests that quercetin may be beneficial for these people. An interesting study from Appalachian State University has also found that quercetin may help the body fight infections in stressed individuals. The source of stress was extreme exercise, in this case, cycling. Over a five-week period, only 5% of athletes who consume 1,000 milligrams per day of quercetin had illness, whereas 45% of athletes who consumed a placebo became sick. 
This is amazing when you consider that 900% more people became ill without the quercetin. It was also noted that the cyclists who took quercetin uh, better maintain their ability to uh, react to an uh, alertness test. Other studies have indicated quercetin is very powerful at promoting healthy cardiovascular function. Quercetin is an important compound found in nature but in small amounts. In order to promote optimal health, larger amounts of quercetin in supplements form appear to be beneficial. Okay. Um, let's see if there's any more information. That, that, that pretty much uh, wraps up quercetin. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, we're going to, well, we're going to do one more of these articles. I'd say after commercial and doing, after doing a best of, um, Health Talk. Let me just try to locate something here. Um, that will be good. Um, okay. You know what? I like this here. Um, I'm going to do... Um, strong bones need more than just calcium. I'll do that. I'll do that next. Uh, but first, uh, let us go to commercial with the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Uh, and then we'll do a uh, best of health talk. Let's see. Let us do, uh, before I read the article about calcium, we'll, we'll do lecithin and medicinal mushrooms. All right. Lecithin and medicinal mushrooms. Take it away, Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Are you ready? Are you reaching your fitness goals working out on your own or with a training partner? Has your health club fulfilled any of the promises made before they took that expensive annual membership fee? After you paid the expensive annual health club membership fee, does it include any personal training? Save money and avoid the high cost of one-on-one -on -one personal trainers, nutritional consultants, health club sales packages. With this complete comprehensive fitness program with the website Personal Trainer. And are you sick and tired of all those low flow shower heads where it seems like it takes forever to rinse off? especially you ladies with long, thick hair. If so, then power your shower. These imported shower heads cannot be found in American stores. The website Personal Trainer and Power Your Shower can be found at www.megalife21.com. That's megalife21.com. Newsletter Censor has been taking on the five taboos of American life, sex, politics, religion, health, and child rearing for over 30 years. Newsletter Censor will give you the tools to defeat the conservatives, to uh, handle right-wing counterfeit Christians. If you'd like to learn more about Newsletter Censor, then go to newslettercensor.com. Newslettercensor.com. 